Super tokens are the hottest new thing by the Solana Labs team. They take your regular SPL tokens and give them superpowers. Until recently, you need to use the token program to make tokens, which is cool, but you need to fork it and add functionality if you wanted your token to do something other than the basic stuff. The super token program is a superset of the token program and adds a bunch of new abilities. The superset part is important because it means that all the code that you've written for interacting with the token program will also work for the super token program. All you gotta do is add a new code for the new stuff and you're good to go. The new stuff is added by extensions, and there is two types, mint account extensions and token account extensions. If you've forgotten what the difference is, think of the mint account like the money printer. This is where all the tokens come from. And the token account is where the tokens sit. It's just an account owned by the address that holds the tokens. This means that mint extensions apply to all tokens held by everyone, and token extensions can be applied to individual token accounts. So I could put these on your account, but not on mine. There's nine mint extensions and four token extensions. Let's speed run them. Confidential transfers. How many tokens you have and how many you've transferred are hidden. However, the first deposit is public, so people will know that you have a confidential token, but not how much. Transfer fees. This is a tax. Every transfer, including trades, are taxed. Closing mint lets you permanently close mint accounts so no new tokens can be created. Interest bearing. It's in the name. You hold the token, you get interest. Non-transferable. You can't transfer them. But this also means you can't trade them. Permanent delegate. Another wallet controls your tokens. Permanently. Transfer hooks. This is a big one. This makes the token program call a program of your choice during all transfers. Think of it like programmable transfers. You can deploy a program that decides what happens with all transfers. Metadata is just extra data for your token. So with the metadata pointer, you can point to somewhere external that you have metadata stored, like Arweave. And the metadata extension just keeps it on chain. On to token account extensions, memo required makes all incoming transfers have a memo or note that is added on chain. Immutable ownership means the ownership of the token account can be changed. You can still transfer tokens, but the ownership of the account remains the same. Token accounts can have different states like frozen. So by default, you could set all token accounts to have a specific state. CPI stands for cross program invocation. The CPI guard extension lets you restrict how other programs can interact with your token. Let's say I only want my token to be exchangeable on a specific exchange. I could add a CPI guard that checks that the program that's interacting with my token is that exchange. If it isn't, I could prevent the trade or the transfer. Whew, that was a lot, but wait, there's more. The real magic happens when you combine extensions. Let's say I decide to open a pizza place and create a loyalty token for my customers. I could make it interest bearing so everyone gets a free pizza once a month and by making it non-transferable, people won't be able to trade or create a market for them. All right, it's 2024, business is booming, and I've launched a DAO that makes decisions for all my pizza franchises. With permanent delegation, I can burn tokens when I fire board members, and of course, we don't want people giving away their voting rights, so we make them non-transferable. And the metadata extension lets us store actual voting rights completely on-chain. Enough talk, let's make a token. All you need is the SPL token CLI and the Solana CLI. Start by telling the SPL token CLI that you want to use the super token program. We'll be using the create token command and we'll pass in the extensions we want as flags. This one's going to have a transfer fee and it takes in the fee amount in basis points. I've got 50 basis points in here, which is a 0.5% fee on all transfers. The final argument is the number of tokens you want. I've got a thousand in here, hit enter, and you've got your own super token. While this works, it isn't the prettiest way to do it. The good news is you can do this with JavaScript. Just click on this video and I'll show you how.